Among all the relics, one took center stage. A lion relief excavated on the western terrace was constructed in the realistic Greek tradition, but the head and mane clearly displayed Hittite influences. Moreover, on its back were three planets, 19 constellations, and a crescent moon. The inscription on the lion identified the three planets as Jupiter, Mercury, and Mars, all of them surprisingly being represented by the god statues in the sanctuary. This is a horoscope depicting a particular date in time. It is the earliest known Greek calendrical horoscope, a unique feature in archaeological excavations. Putting all the information together, it gives us a date in the first century BC. Being one of the oldest horoscopes in the world, the lion relief merited further study. In 1955, analysis of the alignment of the constellations revealed the date to be July 7th, 62 BC. As to what it signifies, opinions vary till this day. The date of 62 BC could correspond to a number of events in Antiochus's life. We know that around that same date, he came to a peace treaty of sorts with the Romans. So this could signify the date at which Antiochus ascended to the throne or became a legitimate king in the eyes of the Romans. It could also represent equally, given the length of time that we know that it took to build the Herothesian of Nimrodug, this could also represent the foundation stone of the site.